Michael Avenatti is not done fighting. His legal team says that an appeal is coming after a jury found him guilty of trying to extort Nike. Garrett Tenney has the story not only what the jury did, but where we are at going forward. Yeah, a lot's changed for Michael Avenatti in the last year and yeah. a half. He has gone from considering a run for president to now facing up to 42 years in prison. On Friday, a federal jury convicted Avenatti on three counts, including extortion and wire fraud for allegedly trying to force Nike executives to pay him $25 million by threatening to expose corruption at the company involving alleged payments to the families of elite high school basketball players. At the time, Prosecutors say Avenatti had more than $11 million in debts. After the verdict, the Manhattan U.S. attorney said while the defendant may have tried to hide behind legal terms and a suit and tie, the jury clearly saw the defendant's scheme for what it was, an old-fashioned shakedown. Here's how Avenatti's team reacted. We are obviously disappointed in the verdict in this case and even surprised by it. But we have preserved some significant issues on appeal. We will be pursuing that, um, and we stand by our client and um, just look forward to the next phase. He is, um, he is a fighter, as you all know, and um, he's staying strong. This is just the beginning of legals of Avenatti's legal troubles, though. In May, he is scheduled to face trial on charges he defrauded clients and others millions of dollars. And in April, he'll face charges in New York for allegedly stealing from the book proceeds of his former client, adult film star Stormy Daniels. Daniels reacted to Avenatti's verdict on Instagram, writing in part, Sadly, it appears what Michael Avenatti did to me was just the tip of an iceberg of deceit. I am not surprised by his dishonesty or that his dishonesty has been revealed on a grand scale. His arrogant fraudulent and overly aggressive behavior became so pervasive that the jury found his true character. Nebraska Senator Ben Sass also weighing in on Avenatti's verdict, calling him a D-list attorney, but a grade-A scumbag, and describing him as the noted scumbag and left-wing media darling who orchestrated attacks on Justice Brett Kavanaugh. Avenatti denies all of the charges against him. He is scheduled to be sentenced in the first trial on June 17th, about three weeks before the DNC's convention, so he's likely not going to be on too many lists for dark horse candidates. You say that, and it sort of is a punchline, but in a way, it's pretty amazing that a year and a half ago people were talking about Michael Avenatti being a possible contender for the DNC nomination and, 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 and took him seriously. Yeah. There were a lot of television segments about it. Noteworthy what he was convicted of trying to do with Nike is that he wasn't asking for the money for his clients who were allegedly victims in this basketball thing but he wanted the money personally for himself and he basically said to Nike if you don't give me 25 million dollars personally to run an investigation into your company an internal investigation I'm gonna hold a press conference and ruin you all didn't say anything about effectively about his clients and yeah. being this bombastic you know this doesn't necessarily that's not illegal you know being you know loudmouth or, or anything like that isn't illegal but very often prosecutors will take uh, someone's tone and go after them and say, look, this speaks to intent. Mm -hmm. So when you're so boldly professing well, and, and you're caught on, on tape yeah. and all sorts of, you know. Evidently how this worked is he went in to see Nike's lawyers and he said all of these things, do, I'm gonna do all this or pay me $25 million. They said, that's wonderful. Let's meet in a couple days to discuss it. Walked across the street to the FBI, came in wearing wires a couple of days later, and now you had the evidence. But as you point out, he actually faces another couple of trials and right now is still in jail awaiting yeah. all that millions of dollars in total extorted from clients allegedly yeah, and sure it's, it's going to be a rough summer summer for him for yeah, sure for sure all right we'll wait for the appeal he was uh, almost a b-list celebrity there for a while so warmly received yeah, well it's just a bit generous yeah. ben, ben, ben sass has uh, had the final word on that thank you garrett